All right, let's let this filter pick four random Squishmallows and we're gonna mash them up on the iPad. All right, we've got a crab, a cat, is that an artichoke and a cobra? There's a lot of purple, so I'm thinking we do a tie-dye from this cat, and then we do the green part from, obviously it's a tulip, I just got it. Um, and then I think we wanna add crab hands, and then for the snake, we can add maybe like the snake tongue, and we can think about doing these little things on the side. Okay, up first, I'm gonna add my purple, and then I'm just gonna grab a blue and add these shapes in here, and then do a blur on them. All right, let's blur it out. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. Okay, gonna add in the crab claws. What? Crab claws, that is. I'm gonna add the thing on the top of his head, but in that color. I love him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Part two, whatever it picks up here, we're gonna mash him up on the iPad. All right, we've got a cheeseburger, rainbow raccoon, a cinnamon roll, and what is that, a little mouse? Okay, close inspection, I think that's a cat. Sorry, don't come for me. So I think what we're gonna do is the elements of the burger with raccoon eyes, and I think maybe make the bottom part be this rainbow with a cinnamon roll swirl on the top and cat ears, and maybe try to pull in some of this color and the whiskers. Let's go. All right, let me draw on that burger. Tomato. Okay, I think if I just add in all these rainbow colors down here like this, then I can blur it to make it be rainbow. Yes, that's perfect. And let's add on these drips, adding the swirls. Okay, I did the eyes, and I think because of the brown, it kind of looks like a sloth, but whatever, it's cute, I'm keeping it. Okay, pretty chaotic, but I love her. Let me know what you think we should name her in the comments. Whatever the filter picks up here, we're gonna mash them all up on the iPad. Okay, oh, okay, we've got a Triceratops, Grim Reaper, Mummy and a deer. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to do the tie-dye and the spikes on the Triceratops with the Grim Reaper face, some bandages from the mummy, and then maybe the antlers and ears from the deer. I drew these squiggles and I'm gonna blur it. Yes! Drew on that face. And I'm adding the spikes from the Triceratops. Let's add on some of these bandages. Add on those little dots from the fawn's head. And finally, I'm gonna add on those antlers and add some finishing touches. And here's that one all complete. I am in love with this one. I think it's my favorite one I've done so far. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Whatever this lands on, we are gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Oh, this is a good one. I'm gonna open up Procreate. Okay, I'm thinking we use the rainbow from this Pegasus, the kind of lime green from the skeleton, the eyes of the raccoon, and then the fins of the stingray. First, I'm just gonna add these kind of rainbow squiggles all around it. Now that I have that, I'm gonna take this Gaussian blur, and yes, that's perfect. I got the skull drawn on there, and I'm just gonna add in the lime green from that bunny. These eyes might be hard to add onto this, so I'm thinking I might do these ears, but with the rainbow like the raccoon. Last step is just to add on these fins from the Stingray. And here's this one all complete. I love this one so much. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Okay, you know the drill, whatever this lands on, we're gonna mash it up on the iPad. Oh, okay, this one's a good one, let's go. So we basically got all three sea animals and then a <laughs> flying panda unicorn. So let's figure out what to do with that. I'm thinking Bo from Hello Kitty Mermaid, but with these little tentacles instead of the tail and then the seal's face, and then maybe the ears and the wing and horn from the panda. I'm gonna add a bunch of blue and purple down here. Give it a Gaussian blur. Yes, that looks perfect. Let's draw on those tentacles. Okay, I gave him that seal face, and I'm just giving him the whiskers. I think I'm gonna put a black band around it to match the panda. Gotta add on the wings and the horn. And here's the final result. I think this might be the cutest one I've made yet. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, we're gonna mash up all four on the iPad. Ooh, this is a good one, let's do it. Okay, right off the bat, I love this hat and overalls, but what if we make them in this pattern and then we take this guy's feathers up here and then make it the color on the mouth of the rabbit. Let's go ahead and get our base in there. Okay, I drew on that hat, let's color it in. Okay, right now it looks like a potato with a rain hat on, but let's see if we draw those overalls if we can't get it looking better. Okay, now it's giving Bob the Builder, but let's go ahead and add the pineapple design on there and hope that helps. I went ahead and changed all the trim to be this darker yellow, and then now I'm adding on the top, and we gotta add on his little feathers to the back here. And finally, let's add the rabbit's nose on here. 
And here's it all complete. This one is definitely a strange combination, giving a little bit of a Bob the Builder goes to Palm Springs as a rabbit tease, but I don't know, I like it. Let me know what you wanna name it in the comments. Whatever this lands on, we're gonna mash them all up on the iPad. Oh, okay, this is some fun ones, let's go. I'm thinking we do the skeleton from this bird, the cat's face, the elements like wings and horns and ears and tie-dye from the dragon and then the hair and these things from the Franken bear. Let's go. I'm gonna start by doing these kind of blue blobs from the dragon so that eventually I can blur it to get that tie-dye effect. Gonna add in these ribs here. Okay, I added on the hair. Now I'm just gonna add on these little details. Just gonna add on the wings and here it is all complete. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. And I'm thinking next time I might go to a real store with real Squishmallows for this. So let me know what you think about that too. Today I'm gonna be mashing up random Squishmallows on the iPad, but this time, okay, I was gonna say, but this time we'll do it in real life. But um, everywhere I looked, there were zero Squishmallows. So I guess we're going back to the filter. All right, let's try it again. What are we gonna get? Oh, okay, isn't that gold one like really special or something? Apparently it is pretty rare and worth a lot of money. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is give it a top hat and bow tie from that one. Give it fins like the shark, and then for the avocado toast, make it be like the avocado part, be this tie-dye color. So let's try that. All right, let me just work on this top hat a little bit. Okay, I added on the bow tie. Now I'm just gonna add on each of these fins. I basically added all this to it. Now I'm gonna blur it and see that looks pretty gold to me. I added a bunch of squiggly details that I'm hoping when I blur it, here's the final result. It's kind of giving me like a geode vibe, but let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. You already know the drill, whatever these land on, we're gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Oh, we've got some cute ones this time. Okay, let's go. Okay, definitely giving it the dog's ears. I think the dragon's wings, the top of the Hello Kitty. I guess that's like an ice cream cake. And then I think we'll make the whole color be the one of the shark. All right, let's get going. Adding in that color first and foremost, carving out that belly area. Let's add on these ears. Okay, I'm gonna add in the drips from the Hello Kitty as well as the horn. Okay, now I just need to add on the little sprinkle details that they have. Adding on the tiny little mouth and final touch is the dragon wings. Here's the final result. <laughs> I love him as usual. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's play whatever these land on. We mash them up on the iPad. Oh my gosh, these are some fun ones. Let's go. Okay, here's our spread. What I'm thinking is doing the background be the earth one, but maybe the ocean can be like pink or something to bring in this pink flamingo. And then for the penguin, we can give it that whole outfit. And then this is a turtle. You guys corrected me last time. I guess we just add in the little like flippers slash legs from the turtle. I'm just gonna make the background pink and I'm going to attempt to do my best at creating a world map here. I love how it includes the poles as white on the globe. Now I'm gonna work on adding this guy's outfit to it. The way I have this is the white layer is a whole layer on top of everything else. So then I'm able to just draw underneath it and it stays within the lines of the egg shape. So I just added all that on. Okay, I'm gonna add on the hat and the outline. Okay, I don't love the color pink of the hat and the bow tie, so I'm just gonna change that real quick. I need to add the arms on for the turtle. I think I'll give it the beak of the penguin too. And here it is all complete. This is one of my favorite ones so far. I feel like I said that every time, but let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Okay, whatever these land on, we're gonna mash them up on the iPad. All right, we've got, okay, these are cute, let's go. Here's the lineup. Okay, I know that's a Hello Kitty character, but that Squishmallow is so ugly, I'm sorry. Okay, I wanna do the frog eyes up here for sure with maybe the cat's, I don't know, little face. Um, and then we have to do the coloring of the Corgi and I guess we're gonna add on this bottom part from this guy. Also, it's so funny that I got the frog because my friend's got a frog Squishmallow dog bed and look how cute my dog is in it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add on the top parts here for the frog's face. Okay, gotta move the eyes up here. Oh, let's try that again. There we go. Gonna add on the cat's nose and mouth. Here's that. Why does it look like Sid from Ice Age? 
I'm gonna add these parts from the corgi, but I think it'd be cool if I made them green like the frog. Last, we have to add on the monstrosity of this guy. Here he is all complete. Okay, normally I really like the final results, but this guy is definitely a monstrosity. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Whatever these land on, I'm gonna mash them up on the iPad. Ooh, these are good ones, let's go. Okay, I definitely wanna add on the feet from the octopus. I guess they're tentacles. The wings from the bat and also his little fangs. The places of the map and then also I think the antennas of the oxalotl. Also, I think for the color of this one, what I'm gonna do is just put all of the colors for each one on the grid and then mix them all together for the final color. If I take the smudge tool, we should get our final color. It's like a peachy orange. Maybe it's brown, but oh well. Gonna add on each of the feet. Gonna add on the tiny smile with fangs, of course. And the wings. Okay, I have to add on the three antennas. Is that what they're called of the oxalotl? Let me know in the comments if that's not what they're called. And I think I'm gonna make them the same color as the wings with these like light orange highlights. Last step is just to add on the different places on the world map. Here he is all complete. He's definitely giving demon vibes. And I know these are supposed to be the tentacles, but for some reason it makes him look like a campfire. <laughs> Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash up all four on the iPad. Oh, this is a good one, let's go. This one already looks like a big mashup. It's a rainbow unicorn Hello Kitty cupcake, I think. We've got a zebra. So I'm thinking I will do like at least the top part of this one with zebra stripes, a blue scarf for the cat, and then wings for the devil, and probably give him some little fangs. We have a lot of Sanrio in the last one, so I think I should take this time to apologize for calling Karapi ugly. I didn't mean Karapi was ugly, but the Squishmallow version is another story, I'm sorry. Let's start with the rainbow drip, and I'm gonna fill it in with the pink and blue from the frosting. Then when I Gaussian blur it, Yes, it looks perfect. Okay, I finished the top part. Now I just need to draw on all these little zebra stripes. Here he is. Now I need to draw on the blue scarf. All right, let's add on the little smile and the fangs. Okay, that looks absolutely adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and add on the horns and the wings. And here he is all complete. This is the cutest little devil I've ever seen. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. I'm here at the Squish Pit, and today we're gonna be mashing up Squishmallows in real life. At this year's VidCon, you could wait in line to jump into a giant pit of Squishmallows, and you got to pick any two you wanted. I interviewed some jumpers to see which Squishmallows they got, and today we're gonna be mashing them up on the iPad. So for the ramen, we have to do the top, and then I'm thinking for the hedgehog, we do this little shape here with the little spikes. I think we do the bottom of the s'more, and then I'm thinking the flower, and the coloring of the cactus. And maybe we add the arms on there too. So the ramen is kind of like an upside down shape. So I think I'm gonna do this for this one. All right, now I'm gonna grab the red from here and the orange. Just gonna draw in those little eggs. They're hard to see, but there are noodles on here. Okay, I did that. And this one has a little fish cake on it, but I'm thinking I do the flower from the cactus instead right there. I love how this looks. Now that I got that done, I'm gonna add on the bottom of the s'more. Okay, I'm gonna draw the shape of the hedgehog's face, something like this. I'm gonna add on all of his spikes, but in kind of like a darker green as if it was the cactus spikes. I decided I'm gonna do the nose from the hedgehog and I am gonna go ahead and add on the arms from the cactus. And here he is, all complete. This one turned out to be so cute. I love all these different combinations. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. I'm here at the Squish Pit, and today we're gonna be mashing up Squishmallows in real life. At this year's VidCon, you could wait in line to jump into a giant pit of Squishmallows, and you got to pick any two you wanted. I interviewed some jumpers to see which Squishmallows they got, and today I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Okay, so I think we do the top two claws from the crab, the fins and maybe the little white dots of the orca, this kind of unique color pattern from the hedgehog and the little spikes, and then maybe the pink and the gills on the oxalotl. You guys came for me for calling them antenna, so yes, thank you for correcting me, they are gills. First, I'm gonna draw the claws from the crab, 
Also, I have a gnarly cut on my palm, so this one might be a little shaky, I apologize. Okay, I cleaned those up the best I can. Now I'm gonna add on the fins from this guy. Oh God, this is gonna look a little weird. I'm gonna give him a tiny little smile. And in pink, I'm gonna attempt to draw on the shape of the hedgehog. Oh gosh, that's gonna need some cleaning up. Okay, I have all the color on. Now I'm just gonna add on all these tiny little spikes with a darker pink. I'm gonna add on the little circles above the eyes from the orca. And last, I need to add on these gills. And here she is all complete. I have to say, I wasn't sure how this one was gonna turn out, but it's one of my favorite ones of all time. Let me know what you think we should name her in the comments. Whatever these land on, I'm gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Ooh, we've got boba, let's go. Okay, we have some really good color combos. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the coloring of the cow plus the ears, the obviously legs of the octopus, add in some boba for our little boba guy and a strawberry helmet. All right, let's do it. First, I'm just gonna add in the colorings. Most of them have this tiny smile, so I think I'm gonna add that in for this one. I'm gonna add on all of the little legs. Okay, I've got all those done. Now I'm gonna add in a bunch of little boba at the bottom. Okay, this one has a gradient, so I'm thinking I'm gonna attempt that on the pink and purple down here. I'm using the airbrush brush for this. Okay, he's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add on the top of the strawberry. Last but not least, I have to add on the horns and the ears. And here is the final result. This is one of the ones I'm like, they should make this in a heartbeat. I love it. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Ooh, these are good ones, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do the mouth and nose of the seal, the bones from this guy, the flippers from the stingray, and then the horns and this little thing for the monster. For the color, I took all of the colors of each of these and I'm gonna use the smudge tool to grab a middle ground color. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let's color that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and add on the seal's little snout. Okay, now I'm just gonna draw on that bone mask shape from the top one. And I'm just gonna add on those ribs. Okay, I made them all that lime green color. Now I'm just gonna add on the little flippers. And I'm just gonna add those three little gills that the stingray has. Now I'm gonna add on the horns from the monster and the little puff ball on top of his head. And I'm just gonna color those in, add those stripes. And here he is all complete. I actually really love this one so much. I think the stingray with the bones just works so perfectly. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, we're gonna mash it all together on the iPad. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love this one. Okay, let's go. I'm thinking we make the body pink to kind of be like the cow and the axolotl, but instead of the white drips, I'm thinking we make them be that purple. And then we can add on the axolotl's gills and the strawberry seeds to round it all off. Let's drag in that pink color and I'm gonna add in all the little drips and make it purple. I still wanna add in the swirls, so I'm thinking I add that in in like a darker purple. Okay, these guys both have this little belly, so I think I changed my mind and I'm gonna give them a belly that also looks like a strawberry. And I'm just gonna add on a bunch of little seeds on there, give him a tiny little smile. I'm going to add on the gills from the oxalotl, and I'm thinking we do pink for this one too. That's better. <laughs> Lastly, I think I wanna add the two tiny little horns from the cow. And here's the final result. Something about the horn plus the gills makes it look like a moose. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. We're back, whatever this lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, a lot going on with these ones. I'm thinking we do the hair from the fairy. Definitely do the toppings and maybe the bottom from this one. I guess we have to do the wings from the panda. And then I'm thinking we do the frog's eyes, but on her little buns. All right, let's go. First, I'm gonna get the general shape of her hair in here. I'm gonna color that in. Next, I'm gonna add on the whipped cream that's on top of the head. I'm gonna throw in some of those sprinkles on there. I'm gonna add on the kind of, I guess, cupcake wrapper that he has on the bottom. Okay, I don't know what this is looking like so far. I'm gonna add on the wings from the little panda guy. Also, what is he supposed to be? Panda, unicorn, pegasus? I don't know. I'm gonna add on the heart-shaped cheeks, but I think in the color of the panda bear. Lastly, I'm gonna add in those eyes. 
All right, here it is all complete. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever this lands on, we're gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Part 20. Okay, we've got some I've never seen before. Probably these I had to look up what they were, but this one is a bearded dragon, so we definitely have to use that beard. This is a dinosaur. It looks so simple, but I guess we'll add on that little fin up there. And then for the cow, we can definitely do the coloring and maybe even the snout. I'm about to go out of town for a week, so this is literally the 21st video I've made today, so I have to be drinking my Alani energy drink today. First and foremost, I have to tackle that beard. It looks like it wraps around and then the spikes kind of go on the outside and then work their way to the inside. Okay, I got the basic shape and each one of these is a different color, so I'm gonna alternate them. I added on that skull part too and it looks so cute. Gonna color that top part pink and add on a bunch of different spots down here. Let me add on this dinosaur tail, fin? What do you call that thing? And last, I'm gonna add on the cow's nose. And here it is, all complete. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever squishmallows these land on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Ooh, okay, these are great, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we have to do the ears from the corgi, the Bigfoot, like, hat almost onto it. But I'm thinking it could be funny if the Christmas tree is underneath that hat. We might have to do just like the wings and the horn for it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw on kind of like where the mask is for the Yeti costume and then add on the little bit of like fluff all the way around it. And I'm gonna color that in brown. Then I'm gonna add the corgi's ears almost as if they're coming out of this hat too. Now to add in that Christmas tree color and the little string lights all over it. I added on the most adorable little nose and then I just have to add on the horn and the wings from the little unicorn panda. And here is the final result. I love this one. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. It has been a minute, but you know the drill. Whatever these land on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, I say we do the color and the wings from this dragon. Definitely the little cute dessert from this guy. Maybe the little belly and outside part of the cobra and then the face of the wolf. All right, let's go. Okay, to get that color, I'm just gonna make like a bunch of splotches. And I'm gonna take the Gaussian blur tool and just, yes. Now I'm gonna draw on the little wings and I'm gonna add on that dessert up here, something like that. And we have to add all the little sprinkles onto it. All right, now I'm gonna add on the cobra's belly and of course the little flaps behind his head. And last, I'm just gonna add on the little face that the wolf has and the final result. I think that wolf face on here just looks so cute. First question on this lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we make it the color of this tulip with some spots on it. Like definitely the chicken's like little um, red part up there. And then from Hello Kitty, I think we do the face, the little mask and the flippers. Okay, I'm gonna start by making it purple. Then taking a darker purple, I'm gonna make the spots like from the giraffe. But okay, I've got all that done. Now I'm just gonna add on this thing of the chicken and the wings. Okay, I'm loving how this looks so far. Now I'm gonna draw the little mask that Hello Kitty has on and make it pink. I added white over it. Now I'm just gonna take that layer and down the opacity just to give the hint of a mask. Now I just need to add on the little flippers and here is the final result. This is one of the coolest ones I've ever made. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Ooh, this is great. Okay, we've got two birds. So I'm thinking we make it a bird with these kind of rainbow parrot wings, purple like the boba, add on this kind of frosting drip from the penguin, and then maybe do some other elements from the corgi. Okay, I actually decided to pick up one of each of these colors and then I'm just gonna make it a gradient by doing the Gaussian blur. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. I'm gonna add a bunch of little bobas on the bottom here and add on that white icing that's on the little penguin and add the little sprinkles. Oh, I need to add on the little wing. Okay, made them rainbow. I'm gonna blur those together add on a little beak. I need to add on the coloring of the corgi. 
finally add on the straw and here is the final result. I love how this little boba sundae parrot turned out. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever Squishmallows this lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Ooh. Okay, I think we have to stick with the colors of the cheeseburger. Add on the legs of the octopus, probably the hat from this little chick and maybe somehow add in some features from the cat. Like first and foremost, I'm gonna add on all the legs of the octopus. Then I'm gonna add on all the elements of the cheeseburger in here, something like that. Okay, lots going on. Let's go ahead and bring in some of the colors. Then I'm gonna make everything the color of the bun, including those legs. Now I'm gonna draw on the little hat from the chick. And I wanna add the little sesame seeds right on the hat. Last, I'm gonna add on some of the features of the cat. Here is the final result. I love this little guy. I wasn't expecting to like it so much, but I don't know, it kinda of looks like a little potato hamburger thing, and I just think it's so cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, these are good, okay, let's go. Okay, I think we're gonna get a little psychedelic today. We're gonna definitely do this kind of tie-dye pattern, but I think on the mushroom head, and then this pattern from the pineapple down here, and then also include maybe this part and the face of the snake. So first we need to make the shape of the mushroom, so just a little in and draw on the mushroom top. All right, now I'm gonna color this blue and purple. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur to make it look tie-dye, yes. And now I'm gonna add white spots all over it. I'm gonna make the bottom be yellow and add on all those little stripe details. Okay, I've got that. Now I'm gonna add the little belly of the snake. I'm gonna add the ears from the unicorn. Lastly, I'm gonna add on the mouth of the snake and here's the final result. It definitely got there on the psychedelic part. I think it's really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them all together, okay? Whoa, okay, let's go. Okay, so I think what we have to do is do the print from the cow and probably the bandana. This is my Melody and I think we should do her kind of like ears and hood with the skeleton face. And then I think for Kuropi, my old pal Kuropi, if you know, you know, I think we just have to do the little smile from him. All right, let's go. All right, first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the little skeleton mask. Okay, next I'm gonna tackle the bunny hood. So I guess I'll draw on like a little ear here. That's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add on the bandana and start coloring all of this in. I need to add on all the little cow print details. Okay, the last thing to do is add on Kedopi's mouth and blush, and here's the final result. This is definitely one of the weirdest ones I've ever made. I can't say I think it is very cute, but it is a mashup of all of them, and at the end of the day, that's the game. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. comments. Whichever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them all together, okay? Ooh. I've actually never gotten the clownfish before, so I think I wanna make that the base. And then we're gonna have to put on some elements from the little skeleton guy, I think cat ears, and maybe even Christmas lights on the belly. Okay, so I'm gonna make the whole thing orange and add on the belly. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the little skeleton mask just so I can place the stripes from the clownfish. I'm gonna make that green and now draw on those stripes. It's looking a little mummy-esque, but hopefully some fins will save that. Okay, now I'm gonna add on cat ears and I do wanna make them different colors. Lastly, I'm gonna add on those Christmas tree lights Get some of the colors going in there, and here's the final result. I don't know, something about the clownfish mixed with that mask does kind of make it look like a mummy. Plus we've got the Christmas thing going on, so a lot going on with this one, but I do think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, we got a lot going on here, let's go. Okay, lots of color and pattern on this one. I'm thinking we do maybe the headband and the bow from Hello Kitty, the spots from the Dalmatian, and then the face from this unicorn horse. And maybe we make the whole thing rainbow like this koala and add in the ear elements here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just make a bunch of this rainbow kind of splotches all over it. 
Okay, this looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Gaussian blur it. Yes. And add on a belly. Now I'm gonna add on the koala's ears. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the horse's little mask. That's looking really cool. Let's make the mask pink. And add on the bow and flowers from Hello Kitty. I'm also gonna add the unicorn horn. Last, I'm gonna add on all the Dalmatian spots and here's the final result. I knew at this pool there was gonna be a lot going on, but it's pretty overwhelming. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we have got to do the cute face from the walrus. I'm thinking the top from the cupcake and the clothes from Karopi and then the crab claws. I couldn't decide on the color, so I'm just gonna mash them all together and see what we get. Okay, kind of a pinky brown. First, I'm gonna add on the top of the cupcake and time to add on all the little sprinkles. Cue Mariah Elizabeth sprinkle song here. I made all the sprinkle colors, all the colors of each of these characters. Now I'm gonna add on Kuropi's clothes and little bow tie. Now I'm gonna draw on the walrus's adorable little face. Now I'm gonna add on all of the crab's little pinchers and do the legs and here's the final result. This is definitely a mismatch of all of these ones up here. I don't know, I don't know if I love the color brown but it does make sense with the walrus still. And for some reason I feel like he's like a carnival worker or something like that. Let me know what you think about it and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, what are we gonna, ooh, okay, Oxalotl Burrito, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking that we need to take the rainbow bellies from both of these and make it kind of like the burrito part of the burrito, and then maybe add on the mouth from this guy and then the eyes from the raccoon. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rainbow onto the whole thing, then Gaussian blur it. Yes, that looks really cool. Next, I'm gonna add on the crinkly part of the foil from the burrito, as well as the lettuce on the top and get some more details in there. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add on the gills from the oxalotl. I added those to both sides. Now I need to add the little rings around the eyes for the raccoon. Get that smile going in there from the dinosaur. Finally add on the teeth and here is the final result. This is definitely one of the biggest mashups I have ever done in terms of elements here. For some reason, the oxalotl parts are giving a little moose vibes. I don't know. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right, let's go. Okay, we have a lot of cool colors. So I'm thinking we maybe do this tie-dye for the base, plus the lion's tie-dye for the mane. Obviously we have to add in the little skull mask, and then I guess some features, maybe the ears from the wolf. I'm gonna start by just drawing patches of blue, and then I'm just gonna blur it all together. Now I'm going to draw the lion's mane. Okay, I've got that drawn, and I'm gonna do the same process on the mane. Now I have to blur that, perfect. Now I'm gonna make the middle the color of that mask. Three of these have a white belly, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that down here. Now I'm gonna add the little nose from the wolf, the wings from the dragon, and finally the ears from the wolf, and here is the final result. Okay, we have so many things going on with this one. I love the amount of color. I think this is definitely the most color I've ever put in one of these mashups but I think it turned out pretty cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together. Whoa, okay, let's go. Okay, we definitely have to go with some of these little details from Frankenstein, the legs from the scorpion, the cheeseburger details, and maybe even the face from Pom Pom Perrin. And then I think we have to do the bunny's little face mask here. So I'm gonna start by taking the three main colors from these first three. I'm gonna mix it all together and see what color we get. Then I'm going to go ahead and add on all the little cheeseburger details. Now I'm gonna add the little skull mask and color that in. I'm gonna add on the little hat, big ears. Now I need to draw on the little pinchers for the scorpion. Last, I need to add on the details from Frankenstein and here's the final result. Okay, this one, I know it has so many different elements going on, but for some reason, overall, it's looking like he's, I don't know, in the army or something. I just, I think it turned out really cute. The color combinations are really good. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. 
Oh my gosh, okay, let's go. Okay, we definitely have to do the color of this rainbow llama and include the little face. Um, definitely wanna do the little bottom and the bow from Hello Kitty. Gotta add the claws and then I think definitely the cute little mouth from the seal. So the first step is to take some of these colors and just do like a bunch of little squiggles all over. Then I'm just gonna blur it and draw in the little cutout and add on the unicorn horn. Now I wanna add on Hello Kitty's bow and we have to add on her little pants overalls. Next, I'm gonna add on all of the little crab claws and legs. And lastly, I'm gonna get rid of those eyes so I can add in the adorable walrus face and here's the final result. I love when we get some that are so totally different but I do think this one turned out pretty cute with all the different shades of red, plus the rainbow and his little face. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, some interesting ones. Okay, we definitely have to do this brown part with the little spikes of the hedgehog. I think for the wolf, maybe the ears and the little snout. This, I do not know what this is for the life of me. I could not find it. I thought it was a manatee, I don't know, but I think we definitely take the rainbow tie-dye color from that. And then maybe from the panda, we do the wings, horn, and the stripe. So I'm gonna draw the outline for the hedgehog, and I'm gonna color it in, and add on all the little spikes. Now for that rainbow tie-dye effect, I'm just gonna make a bunch of squiggles under here, and I'm gonna blur it out. Next comes the ears and the little nose from the wolf. Now I need to put on those wings, the black band from the panda, and finally the unicorn horn, and here's the final result. Okay, last minute I did decide to put on the eyes from the panda, and I think it brought it all together. This one is definitely a mix of so many different elements, but turned out really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, we definitely have to do the eyes and the little hearts from the frog. For the seal, I'm thinking we add maybe the belly and the little snout. Hamburger, you know we have to add all the hamburger parts. And for the oxalotl, we'll do the gills. Since there are so many colors, I am for this one gonna just take colors from each of them and mix them together. So I'm gonna mix all of those together and take the middle one. So we're left with like a muted teal. Now I'm gonna draw on the top for the frog. Now I'm gonna draw on all of the little elements from the cheeseburger. All right, this is looking really good. Now I'm gonna add on the little snout from the seal and the frog's pink hearts. And last, I'm gonna add on the gills from the oxalotl and here's the final result. I love that the little oxalotl gills look almost like wings. The hearts on the eyes are just so cute. And overall, I always love when I get the cheeseburger. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's be real, you already know what it is. We're gonna mash these all together. Oh my gosh, okay. All these colors are really pretty, so I think I'm gonna combine them all to get the base tone. And then we definitely need to do the little fins and maybe a shell for the sea turtle, this little flowy hair for the unicorn, the eyes from Hello Kitty, and then the legs from the octopus. So I grabbed all the colors, now let's mix them all together. Ooh, that's pretty. Now I'm gonna draw all the little tentacles on the octopus. Now I'm gonna draw the little flippers and the shell for the turtle. Now let's add on that rainbow unicorn hair and the horn. I'm gonna add a white belly because all of these ones have it. Now we just have to add on those ridiculous glasses. I know it doesn't actually look like this, but what if we down the opacity so we can still see the eyes through it? Last, I'm gonna add on the whiskers and the little mouth and here's the final result. I did not know if I was gonna like this one because these are some crazy ones up here, but this turned out to be one of my favorite ones of all time. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking we take the ears from the corgi, the hat and the hamburger part from Pom Pom Perrin, um, definitely make the whole thing black like this unicorn and add on some little bones and then take the mask eye area from the lemur. So first I'm gonna color it in, then I'm going to draw on the little mask and add on the little snout and pink parts around the eyes. It's almost looking like a penguin right now. Now I'm gonna add on the part of the little cheeseburger and add on that cheese. 
Now I need to draw on his adorable little hat. And I need to add the ears for the corgi. Lastly, I just need to add on all of the little bones from the skeleton. And here is the final result. Something about the black little bean body with this little mask is still giving me penguin, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about it and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do the colors and the stripes from this monster. We have to add on the little quills from the hedgehog, all the other elements from the dragon, and then for this little guy, I think I wanna use the mouth. So I'm gonna start by coloring it in and adding on that little belly. Now I need to add on all of those stripes. I wanna go ahead and also add the ring around the eye. And now start adding on all the little hedgehog quills. Now I'm gonna add on all the little elements from the dragon, like the wings and the ears. And just go ahead and add on that last little horn right there and color it in. And finally, I'm gonna add on this cute little smile here with the big pointy teeth. And here is the final result. I absolutely love this one. All the colors work so well together. And I think the hedgehog's little quills look like sprinkles. So it's giving me dessert vibes, Mariah Elizabeth vibes. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them all together. Whoa, okay, let's go. Lots of Sanrio in this one. So we have my old pal Karopi. I think I'm gonna take the mouth from him, the little Sunday from Pom Pomperin. Um, I love all these goldish orange elements from the bat and then the shell from the turtle. Since three of the four are this lime green, I'm gonna change the background of that and add in the mouth and blush from Karopi. <laughs> it's already looking a little derpy. Now let's add on the top part for the Sunday and color that in. Cue the Mariah Elizabeth sprinkle song. Now I need to add the belly of the bat as well as those adorable little wings. And those ears. I added all these colors in there that I'm hoping if I blur it, it looks a little bit metallic. I wanna add bat things to it. Last, I just had to add on the turtle shell and here is the final result. This is definitely one of the craziest ones, especially with that mouth, but I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, my husband is gonna match them together. Ooh, look at those, let's go. I like the top and the eyeballs and the color on this one, the little basket bottom on this one. We're gonna take the ears from this one and we gotta take the little rainbow fluffy thing on this one. Okay, first I'm gonna color it. And I'm gonna take this basket, but instead of putting it on, I'm gonna make it like an actual basket, like under it. Ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> I fixed that, and so now I'm gonna draw the strappies. I'm gonna draw the eyelashes from the boba and the snout from the cat. I'm gonna draw the top part from the boba. Now we're adding the rainbow beard from the lion. Now we're gonna add in all the rainbow colors. I blur it out to make it look that eye. Last, I'm gonna do the cat ears in. And here's the final result. I like that it is very Colorful egg in a basket. <laughs> Let me know if you think we should name this one in the comments. I have made 42 Squishmallow mashups on this channel and every day I get comments asking me to mash together the mashups. So today we're gonna do it. So I have my number generator. Let's generate number three, 38 and 28. Okay, so we have this one, this one and this one. So I think I'm gonna do a tie dye of all of their main colors. Then I'm gonna do the top part of this guy with the antlers, the face and burger from this guy, and then the clownfish elements and the lights from that one. So first I'm just gonna add in colors from each of them. Then I'm gonna blur it all together. First I'm gonna draw on the elements from the cheeseburger. Then I'm gonna add on all the little Christmas lights and the stripes from the clownfish and the little mask from the lemur. Now I'm gonna add on the part from the dinosaur, as well as those antlers. Lastly, I'm gonna add on those fins. And here is the final result. This is definitely the craziest mashup we've ever done on this channel, but I really love this series. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them all together. Ooh, some pastels. Okay, let's go. Okay, I definitely wanna combine all the different colors of these, and then we have to take the wings from the Pegasus, the bunny ears, the seal's little nose and whiskers, and then the stripes from the tiger. 
So I'm gonna start by drawing in little squiggles from each of the different colors, and I'm gonna blur that out. Now I'm gonna add on the little wings from the Pegasus and the little tuft of hair as well. Now I'm gonna meticulously add in each of those tiger stripes, and there are a lot. I am gonna go ahead and add on a white belly since so many of them have it, and add in those bunny ears. Lastly, I'm gonna add on the seal's little snout, and here is the final result. I love the color combination from all of these, and I think adding it with the pops of stripes really makes it stand out. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, my husband is gonna be mashing them together. Ooh, all right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna take the bow from this one, the eyes from this one, maybe this little rainbow right here, the color from this one, the wings. I don't like any of this one, but we'll take this little part right here. Ha! First, we're coloring green. Now I'm gonna add the belly and fill it in the belly. Now drawing the wings. You know what? I want four wings. I'm gonna put the bow here instead of the rainbow. I'm gonna give it the raccoon eyes. I'm gonna add a little smile. I'm gonna do the horns and the ears from the dragon. I feel like it needs the horn and the puff ball, so I'm gonna do that. And here's the final result. She's a maximalist um, dragon, raccoon, sparkle queen. So what would you name it? Let that me know in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them all together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take the wrapping from this guy, the little topping and cherry from this one, the face from the skeleton dog, and then I think the color and then the wings from the parrot. So first I'm gonna color it in. Then I'm gonna add on those bottom bandages from the mummy. Now I need to add on the frosting from the cupcake and add that cherry and all the little sprinkles. Now I'm gonna draw on that skeleton mask. Okay, the last thing to do is add on those wings, color them in with the rainbow pattern, and finally blur that out, and here is the final result. I definitely think that the mummy plus the skull is giving a little creepy vibes, but then adding in the rainbow wings and the sprinkles and the topping gives it that cutesy effect, so I don't really know what to think of this one. Let me know what you think we should name it, though, in the comments. I think you already know what time it is. We're gonna mash all of these together. Ooh, all right, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we add the hearts and the whiskers from the cat, this little green part from the tulip, the back almost neck part from the triceratops, and I wanna add the horn for sure. And then from the strawberry, I say we do the color and then the little top part, and maybe do the green, this tie-dye green. So first I'm gonna make the base red. Then I'm gonna start adding on all of the little green elements, like the bottom and the top from the strawberry. I colored those in green, but now I'm gonna add these kind of thicker green swirls, and I'm gonna blur them to give the tie-dye effect. Now I need to add all the little strawberry seeds, the horn from the Triceratops, the hearts and the little whiskers from the cat, and finally the collar from the Triceratops, and here is the final result. This guy turned out so adorable. I don't know, I just love him so much. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we grab all the colors and mash them together to figure out the color for this one. I definitely wanna take the eyes from Batsumaru because I've never used those before. Um, the wings and the horns probably from the bat, the little legs from the octopus unicorn, and then because we got the unicorn, I think we have to use the horn and maybe the hair from that one. All right, I grabbed all the colors. Let's mix them together. Ooh, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw in these grumpy eyes. This is probably the most human one of my Squishable matchups has ever looked and it's freaking me out. I'm gonna add in the tiny little smile and vampire fangs just to counteract that. And add on those wings and horns. Now I'm gonna add on the little octopus legs. And finally, the little horn, and here is the final result. Honestly, this one looks kind of creepy, kind of like a weird cartoon character, but 
Overall, one of the more interesting ones I've ever done. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. I just got a mystery Squishmallow box from the TikTok shop and whatever's in it, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Hey, what's it gonna be? I've got Fluffy Bigfoot, an antelope, and a swordfish. Oh my gosh, wait, this one's so cute. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do the coloring from the Bigfoot and maybe these little feet. The definitely horns and maybe eyes from the antelope. And then from the swordfish, we have to do the horn and maybe the little flippers. I'm gonna start by picking up each color that's in that guy and then just drawing big circle blobs around it. Now I'm gonna do this Gaussian blur and yes, I'm gonna add in the little feet and they have tiny little toes. Now I'm gonna add the eyes from the antelope. I'm gonna add on the little antelope horns, those little fins, the tiny little smile. We have the swordfish's nose. And here is the final result. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Welcome to a new series I'm calling Roll for Squish, where we let the dice decide what kind of squishmallows we mash together. Let's get rolling. Okay, so we've got an octopus grocery store clerk that is gray, red, and yellow with a beak, boba, and holding something that I decide. So I think I want to make the octopus body be red, draw on all of the little tentacles, and I want to make them yellow. Now we need to draw on the little apron, and now I'm going to turn it gray. So I think I'm going to do like a tomato and a banana. Okay, I have to give it boba. Okay, now I have to give it a beak. So I guess I'm just gonna draw like something like that. Okay, last he has to be holding something. So I think I'm gonna add like a ketchup bottle in one hand and a mustard bottle in the other. Alrighty, and here is the final result. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's roll the dice to see which squishmallows we're gonna mash together. Okay, we got a robot that is blue and white and includes a beak, a tail, and wings. Okay, here is some inspo up here. So I wanna kind of make it more square elements. Kind of match the bluebird elements, but add in things that are a little bit more robot-y. Like definitely adding in little rivets and I added in some color. Let's make this white. I'm actually thinking we do like airplane wings almost. I am loving how that looks. We need to add on a little beak and I wanna add some elements from that robot down here. And last, it has a tail. So I'm thinking we do kind of like another airplane wing tail back here. And here is the final result. I absolutely love this guy. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's roll the dice and create another random Squishmallow mashup. Okay, we got an alligator that is gray and red with antennas, devil horns, and insect legs. Okay, this is my inspo up here. We have the alligator squishmallow and a little insect. I'm thinking we make it a red devil alligator. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it red. I'm gonna go ahead and add that little belly down here and make it gray and also add in the alligator's mouth. I think I'm gonna have to add in the antennas on top of his eyes as weird as that's gonna look because we need to put the devil horns right here. Now I'm gonna just add in all of these little legs, color each of those in gray as well. And here is the final result. I think this one's giving some spooky vibes Vibes, maybe like an alligator mixed with an insect somehow in like a sacrifice and made this devil. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever squishmallows this filter lands on, my husband is gonna mash them all together. Okay, we're gonna take the apron and the headband from the clownfish. <laughs> we're gonna take the hood from the snake. We're also gonna take the fins from the jellyfish manta ray thingy <laughs> and um, the face from Hello Kitty. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, I'm gonna draw the striped nose from the clownfish. Now we're doing the hood from the Cobra Boy. So I made the hood orange from the clownfish, and now we're gonna put the flappies from Jingrave thingy down here. <laughs> and we're making them the same pink. I'm actually gonna do the manta ray face with the Hello Kitty whiskers. Last, I'm gonna add the whiskers, and here's the final result. It's very maximalist. And um, she's like a little Digimon. A little dangerous up top, a little party down bottom. <laughs> I think he looks like a Power Ranger. 
Yeah. The pink Power Ranger. And let us know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we take this little shape and the little dots, speckles from the hedgehog. We have to do the color from this tie-dye cat, the top of the mushroom, and then maybe do like the bottom of this mane to kind of look like a beard. So first I'm just gonna color in all these tie-dye colors and blur that out to get the tie-dye effect. Now I'm just gonna draw the little shape of the hedgehog cutout, color it in this kind of tan color, and then add in the little speckles. That's looking really cute. Now time to make it weird by adding on the toadstool. <laughs> and let's add on all the dots. I'm gonna add the little snout. And now time to make it weird by adding on <laughs> the lion's mane. I'm gonna finish that up and here is the final result. This one is definitely one of the weirder <laughs> ones I've ever done, but let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay. Also, this is part 50, by the way, so that's just crazy. I'm thinking we do the hoodie from Hello Kitty, the wings and the antenna from the butterfly, the horns and ears from the dragon, and the color, and then we definitely have to do the icing topping from the cinnamon roll. So I'm gonna start by drawing the hoodie, and I'm gonna go ahead and color that in, and I'm gonna color in the dragon body as well. Now I'm gonna add on the butterfly wings as well as the antenna. And I'm gonna add on the ears and the horns from the dragon. And I'm gonna color all of that in. I decided I wanna give it a dragon snout, but then the Hello Kitty whiskers. The final step is just gonna be to add on all of the icing from the cinnamon roll. And here is the final result. I think we could not have asked for a better one for the 50th part of the series. And I just love how it turned out so much. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Pop Socket just sent me four of their new Squishmallow collabs and whichever ones I get, I'm gonna mash them all together. We definitely do the top of the mushroom, the little gills from the axolotl, the horns and ears maybe from the cow, and then the little markings from the cat. So I'm gonna start with the pink from the axolotl, then I'm gonna draw on the top of the mushroom. And I'm gonna add in the little gills from the axolotl, and the horns and ears from the cow. That is looking really wild. Now I'm gonna add on the little tiny arms from the axolotl and draw on the markings as well as the whiskers from the cat. And finally add on the classic Squishmallow smile and here is the final result. I am in love with this one. This one turned out to be one of the coolest ones I've ever made. It's giving very much like mythical woodland creature. I don't know. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's do it. I think it'd be cool if we could do half black and then half the bottom of this one, just so it kind of has a gradient effect. And then we can use the color from this one and make the features of the Corgi, and then do the same colors for some of the features from the unicorn. So I'm gonna color the top half in black and then do the bottom half in this blue and blend it out. Now I'm gonna add in the corgi features, but in that yellow from the skull. Next, I'm gonna add in all the little boba pearls, and I'm gonna add on the ears and the horn from the unicorn. I also wanna add this little swoop from the unicorn. Lastly, add a tiny little green smile, and here is the final result. I think this one turned out so cute. I love the color combination with the green, the black, the blue, and then all of the other little colors throughout it. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows these filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right. So I'm thinking we do the color and the little legs from the octopus. We gotta add in some speckles like they have on the hedgehog. I wanna do the bow from Hello Kitty and then this kind of swoopy thing, the face and the scythe from the Grim Reaper. So first I'm gonna color it purple and draw on each of the little legs. Now I'm gonna draw on the little skeleton mask from the Grim Reaper. That's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add in his little scythe 
and get on there those purple almost sprinkles just like it has on the hedgehog. Now I'm gonna add on Hello Kitty's big pink bow. And finally, I'm gonna add on the hood from the Grim Reaper and here is the final result. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite ones ever. It's giving like a little bit of Grimace, a little bit of Barney, I don't know, but this one is so cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay. Since we have two unicorns, I'm thinking we do the peppermint part from this one and then the horn from this one. We have to do the frog eyes with the little hearts. And then I'm thinking maybe um, a snout similar to any of these three, plus the bandana and the little details on the pig. To determine the color, I'm just gonna mix all these background ones. And we're left with kind of a mint green. Now I'm gonna add on the frog eyes and move the other ones up. And now I need to add on all the little red swirlies from the peppermint and draw on the little swoopy bangs from the unicorn. And of course, add on that horn. Now I'm gonna add on the bandana. Next, I'm gonna draw the frog's hearts as well as the little snout. And lastly, I just need to add on all the little speckles from the pig and here is the final result. Something about this pattern is giving camouflage to me and the bandana and the red is almost giving like Rosie the Riveter vibes. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this one and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right, let's go. So my thought on this one is to take the skull mask and the ears from the bunny, this little turtle shell from the turtle, the tie-dye rainbow from the raccoon, and then all the little splotches from the snow leopard. And then because these colors are kind of weird, let's add them all together and mix them up. Okay, so I'm gonna mix those up together. Ooh, we get like a light green kind of gray color. Next, I'm gonna draw on the skeleton mask and add on the ears for the bunny. And now let's go ahead and do the outer shell of the turtle. That's looking good. Now I'm gonna add on the belly, paint it in a little bit rainbow stripes and then blur it all together. The only thing left is to add on all of the little splotches from the snow leopard. And here is the final result. We have two in a row that are looking almost camo, but I think this one turned out really hard with that skeleton mask in there. Let me know what you think about this one and what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Also, they took away my original filter, so we're gonna just have to run this one a couple times. Deer. Oh, tie that shark. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do the black splotches from the cow, the deer's antlers, ears, and the little speckles, and then we have to do the whole thing, this tie-dye color, and add in the fins from the shark. So I'm gonna make these big blue rings. Now I'm gonna do this and do Gaussian blur, and whoa, that looks great. Now I'm gonna add on the splotches from the cow, the little speckles from the deer, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the antlers and the ears while I'm at it. I'm gonna add on the fins, and I think I wanna do the gills as well from the shark. Lastly, I wanna add on the little snout from the cow, and here is the final result. The color combo is just so fun. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. I'm gonna run this filter three times, and whichever Squishmallows it lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, a Yeti. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have to do the adorable little feet from the Yeti as well as the mane. The colors from this unicorn llama and definitely the horn and the wings. And then from this mummy owl, we gotta put on a couple of those bandages and purple ears. To start it off, I'm gonna draw those adorable little feet. Now I'm gonna draw on the mane. I'm gonna add in a bunch of these little colors and hit it with that Gaussian blur to get the tie-dye. I'm gonna draw on some of the bandages, the unicorn horn, as well as those little wings. Now I'm gonna draw in the purple ears, finally add on the Yeti mouth, and here is the final result. This one turned out so cute. I love the rainbow beard and the little feet. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them all together. Okay, classic. The second one. Okay. Let's hope we get a colorful one for this last one. Oh, okay. Let's, you know what? Let's add a fourth one in here for old time's sake. 
Ooh, perfect, okay. Okay, I'm thinking we do the markings of the cow, but in the blue and red of these guys, we gotta add on the horns. We'll just add on that little face, definitely the octopus legs, and then I love these little rainbow wings. So up first, I'm gonna add on the splotches and color it in red. Now I wanna add on the cow's horns and ears, the little snout and the cheeks of the polar bear, and of course the octopus feet. Lastly, I'm gonna add on those little wings, add in the rainbow, and here is the final result. Honestly, something about the polar bear's face being on there is really making this whole thing look like a bear. Let me know what you think about this one and what we should name it in the comments. Today, I'm gonna to be designing Squishmallows in the style of Over the Garden Wall. Okay, so up first, we are doing Wurt. So I think we obviously have to start out with his little hat. And of course, we have to add on his cape. Add the little buttons on there and color it all in. Then I'm gonna draw his little pants and shirt. Lastly, I need to add his nose and mouth in. Here is work all complete. Now for Greg, we definitely have to add on the teapot to the top of his head and add in the shading. And of course, give him his little crossbody bag. Next, I'm gonna add on his little overalls and shirt. I'm gonna add on his little face. And lastly, he's always carrying around his pet frogs. I'm thinking we add a little tiny frog squishmallow friend to go with him. So I'm gonna finish all that up. And here is the final result. Here is how they look together. They are so adorable. Let me know if you wanna see more of these in the comments. Today I'm gonna to be designing Squishmallows in the style of over the garden wall characters. Okay, since I already did the main characters, I think today we'll do the pumpkin guys and Beatrice. Okay, starting with the pumpkin, I'm gonna go ahead and color it in. I'm gonna get rid of my classic Squishmallow eyes and draw on the ones like they have. So a hole and then make it look hollow by adding in a little bit of a light source in there. I also want to make the mouth look like that, guys. I want to add on a scarf of some kind. Last is going to be to add on a stem, and here is the final result. On a much less creepy note, we're going to do Beatrice, and I want to make her in the style of a bird squishmallow. I'm color the top part gray and the bottom part this peach color. Then I'm gonna add on that white belly and draw on her little beak. I'm gonna go ahead and color that in the right colors and here is the final result. I absolutely love all of them together. Let me know what you think about them and which one's your favorite in the comments. 